Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and I am going to make um, a, a scrap buster. I got the idea from Melina. Um, she's got her, her uh, YouTube channel, which I'll link the video she did for you below. Um, she's Me Crafty Scrapper on Instagram and has a big YouTube channel. But every week she does the Scrap Buster Challenge. And I've done a couple of them before. And um, this one really caught my eye because it's kind of similar to the snippet tape and snippet rolls that I make, but different. And I love it. And then I changed up her idea even a little bit more. So we're going to make a few of these. It's super easy. You can use any scraps that you have um so that's what we're gonna do um she calls these masking tape cluster strips from scraps so one of the things that i was excited about is i got the new um my pink monarch kits um the march kit and it's all these gorgeous greens and um anna said that it was um inspired by Tim Holtz. I love all the little pieces of ephemera that you get with it. So I've got a bunch of those cut out um, to use in this project, which I guess isn't exactly using up my scraps because this is a new kit, but I can't wait to use it. And Melina in her video used a piece of um, like a uh, some kind of cutout or image on the front of each of her strips that she made. So I thought, well, this will be great. Um, and if you go watch her video, which you totally should, because she is hysterical and funny. Um, she did that, but I love using quotes and words in my work. And I thought, well, this will be fun. I'm going to add a secret pocket on mine. Um, so this one, I added the pocket. Let's see if we can make it work. Um, I'll show you how I made it. It was really easy. But then this little piece, you know, just looks like another part of the, the strip. But it comes out and it has a little quote or there'll be some words or something on mine. So um, a little different. But I like the structure of these um, and uh, how sturdy they are. These are going to be great for end pages. This one's a little tall. So... I will put it in um, one of my larger journals, like this one. Um, that I'm working on it'll be a good belly band, right? Um, this is a half page I've already glued over. It would be a neat um, end page. She was showing how it might be fun to have, you know, just a hint sticking out or sticking out at the top or something. So this will be good for this size. I think I'm going to make some, though, that will go in my um, junk journal ideas book um, that are shorter. This one right now measures... Uh, like nine and a quarter inches. And so I want to have a goal of making some that are about seven and a half. Um, so we'll, we'll make sure we do that. Um, seven and a half, eight inches would be better for this size journal. So um, anyway, I'm really excited about it. I hope you'll stay around and uh, make some with me. Um, she uses masking tape. And since we're not going to sew on these, I am going to use my old gross roll of masking tape. I showed you guys this earlier on a video. Um, I don't know where it came from. I've had it forever. Um, and it's got this weird shape to it. A lot of times when I make my snippet tape or my snippet strips, I use washi tape because I like to then sew. Um, but this isn't, again, a no sew one that has a lot of structure because I'm going to show you how you're going to put a strip of paper down the middle, which I really liked about her design. And I also liked um, how she trimmed it and did the background and everything. So this is our little prototype. And... Um, I always, t and there's nothing wrong, by the way, with making them longer because then you can just trim it off, right? So this one was too long for that one journal I showed you. I could just cut an inch or so off. Um, I tend to make things a little taller for some reason. I'm not good at um, estimating um, how, how long my, my tape or my, my strip is. So like this is eight inches and I thought I had another two already ready to go. 
So we'll try to keep this one to about eight, seven and a half, eight inches. So this is very sticky masking tape. One of the nice things is it kind of holds everything together while you're going. Um, and it's very similar. Like I said, if you've watched how I make my snippet strips, it's the same kind of idea, but just know you're going to be kind of trimming it up and a lot of not a lot, a good bit of what you put down is going to get covered up. And again, one of the things I liked that she reminded us, so it's okay if something is a little bit ugly or not exactly. That's up, it's a little bed on there. It's upside down. So I'm going to put that at the bottom. Um, not exactly um, a paper that you want to, you know, use or see a lot of. Um and they can overlap a little bit, or you can kind of bring them right, right up to each other like that. Hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Um, so it's kind of just up to you and do a little bit of each as you go. Um, you can have the ragged edges and you can have the straight edges and they don't all have to be the same length which um, also makes me happy, right? <laughs> so you really get to have fun tearing paper um, and just laying, laying some pieces down. And again, the strip down the middle is so fun because it makes it nice and strong, which I liked. So let's see. I always like scrap buster ideas because again, I just reached over and you can tell some of, from some of my projects recently what, what I have on hand um, and what I've been working with, um, but they just multiply and it's sometimes hard to get through all of them. So I love scrap buster ideas and she has so many on her channel. I'm warning you guys now, I'm probably gonna um, work through quite a few of them um because they're just so much fun um okay let's see and you can use um card stock on these the, the papers don't have to all be the same thickness you know it can be more of just a copy paper thickness um or um it can be card stack scrapbook paper all of that works okay so now the one thing that i am going to do consistently with the ones i'm making today is i have some off cuts from that march kit i was telling you guys about and i kind of want to get a similar theme of some of the greens and colors in that kit going through mine and I may then, um, I'm, I'm planning on making a whole journal with this kit. And so maybe these will be ready to be used for that, which will be fun. Look at this piece of paper. Oh my gosh. It's from the March kit. And I have not um, even, I, I just, I'm just looking at it because it's so beautiful. And there's one in kind of the oranges and the other colors too with all the butterflies. So I see myself probably cutting a lot of the butterflies out. This would be such a beautiful focal point for a journal cover. Anyway, so excited about this paper, but just have that sitting there. All right, so um, I want a strip that is close to the same length, but if it's not, we can, we can patch it together too, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to get these two that are um, kind of similar. I do want them to be probably the same width. Um, so I'm going to just get my scissors out and, um, trim this up. Now you don't have to, again, edge, the edges don't really have to be perfect. Um, I didn't put that on a paper cutter or paper trimmer or anything. And I'm just going to patch mine together so it covers it up. All right, um, I am going to use my Distress Ink. I'm going to stay with my walnut stain. <laughs> Today is a walnut stain kind of day, and I am going to go ahead and ink the middle strip we're going to lay down. And um, you'll see without the um, sewing how this strip glued down provides so much structure. So I think I'm gonna glue 
the tiny one first. Oops. Okay, and that, that's really all there is to it. It couldn't be easier, and you really can use whatever you have. Um, and if you don't have um, some die cuts or some little pieces, you know, to decorate with, you could make some. You could make one of um, the little clusters. Like I've got a video that showed you how to use up paper scraps. I'm trying to find one to show you. Um, you know, you could just make a little snippet cluster like that. That would be pretty to decorate these with. So lots of options. Now, the other thing this one does is, you see it's kind of cut, but it's not just straight. And I really like that. Um, so we're gonna take our scissors and all those edges are gonna come off. Some of it I'm doing straight. I'm kind of trying to remember how Melina did it where she kind of wiggled her scissors. She used a corner rounder on her corners. I'm not doing that. I'm just kind of making it a little more organic. Let's see just to be a little different. And you can all, well, of course you can't put it, well, you could glue it back on, I guess, but you can always go more narrow if you want to. Let's see if I even succeeded in making it shorter. Oh, I did. Now this is something in her video that you guys, it cracked me up so much. She's like, and then all these little pieces, she's like my mama, who also is a big uh, YouTuber and scrapbooker and all that stuff too, but my mama calls these the giblets. And um, I just had to laugh because I'm also from the South and I could hear my grandma Opal um, saying the same thing. So the giblets are going in the trash. Okay. Um, I don't think on this one, I really have a preference of what's the top and what's the bottom. But we are going to make our little pocket. Now, the last one I did, I used one of these um, little tabs that came with the kit. Maybe we'll pick something, let's see, um, a little different for this. Ooh, how about a postcard pocket? <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay. Um, and I may kind of turn it um, sort of vertical so that it's not so wide across there. Um, and then all I did, and I used book page, and this is some pretty sturdy book page that I have, is I just cut a piece of book page the same size. And again, I'm not making it super perfect. I'm just using this little mini postcard to help me see the size and where I need to cut the paper. And it's wiggling on me. Okay. And this doesn't have straight corners. You just don't want to see it from back there, behind there. All right. We will, after we get it glued together, ink it really good. All right. And then just like whenever you're making a pocket, um, I'm just going to, I'm going to leave the top as the opening. So I'm just going to put glue on three sides, like so. All right, and now, if we're lucky, and I didn't glue anything together, we'll have a little hidden pocket. Cute, right? Okay, so, um, I'm just gonna pick something that I have here already. I have some that are stamped, some sentiments, and then I have some that I've already written out about hard things are possible. We'll use that one. And um, again, we can just put this, it'll fit in there on a scrap of paper, or if I wanna pick another tab or something from the kit, I can do that. I certainly don't want it to get lost in there, so I need to make sure I um, put it on 
a piece of paper that's long enough or tall enough. So I think I'm going to glue it to the back of this piece of paper. This, this is a very scrappy project. Nothing per precise or perfect about it. Um, which is sometimes some of my favorite ways to craft. All right, I'll bring that to the end. And I'm going to leave this full length, and we'll see how much it, it um, sticks out. And if we want that, we could also even put like a little piece of ribbon or something on it, kind of making it look sort of like the wiggled edges of the strip we made. So let's see. Ooh, it, it, it barely is long enough. So we're gonna fix that too by grabbing another little piece of this, pretty much the same pattern. And I'm gonna glue it on. You're gonna see me patch this together really good. Yeah. I'll trim it up once I get it on here. All right. And I'm gonna fold it over to definitely make it long enough and it'll be nice and sturdy to pull it in and out. Okay. And now I'm gonna trim it up. So none of the white is showing with that white paper. And it says hard things are possible. Okay. And I'm gonna slide it in our secret pocket, which again, I could put a little thumb notch here, but it, it actually slides in and out super easy. Kind of looks like a little bottle in there. Okay. And then maybe something else. A little butterfly or a bird. A um, pot of flowers. What do we think? Aren't these tags the cutest? Um... I wanted something with a little more contrast is what I'm thinking. Ooh, I like that. And that picks up that little bit of orange there. And now I'm not wanting to cover up my postcard too much. So this is where um, I sit here sometimes and really perseverate over how should I do this? Maybe we'll just do that. The kit had these little, they look like wax seals but they're not. Um, and this one has a bee or a wasp on it. It's very cute. And that way we don't cover up too much of our little postcard. And we certainly don't want to close our pocket in. So I'm gonna add glue just here because I'm gonna kind of put it on an angle Make sure I've got it down good. And then we'll pick a little wax, faux wax seal on here. Which kind of brings in the circle of the postage stamp too. Okay, and our quote words come in and out really nicely. Look at that, so now we have two. Those are just too cute. And they're making me really happy. So that is an easy scrap buster project and something that I think um, any level crafter could make. Um, I hope that you guys will make some. Tag me. Let me see what you do. Um, I'm going to make some more using these papers. And then when I make my um, 
the journal that's still in my mind right now, um, exactly what it's going to look like, I do think I'm going to incorporate these into that journal. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, thanks for joining me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, whatever you happen to be doing. Um, please don't forget to go check out Melina's video, but, um, follow me, like, subscribe, leave me comments. Let me know that you're watching. It makes me happy. All right. Have a great day, everybody.